Hello and welcome to Zoom Events Product Releases. It's February, spring is coming. Uh, great list of new features here from Zoom Events. Let's dive right in, let's check them out. First up, we have made special role emails now fully customizable with Email Builder. All special role invitations, alt hosts, speakers, sponsors, along with a special role reminder email that can go to all of them, uh, is now are now customizable with Email Builder. This opens up a whole new way to communicate with those roles. Um, great way to provide instructions, context, any uh, event specific expectations that you may have clearly with your audiences. Here's here's an example. I can now edit the special role reminder email and include specific know before you go content uh, in this email, maybe some tips, maybe even a video to help my speakers or sponsors know what to do, where to go, and what is uh, most relevant for my event. Pro tip here, Zoom Clips is a great way to record, even edit, and share this type of instructional content. It's included with your Zoom account right here, right now. You can go to your Zoom account, create a clip, add it to a video channel if you want to, or just share the link out broadly and include that in the email. Check out Zoom Clips if you haven't had a chance to. Second, the team was hard at work and we have brought some updates to the look and feel of Zoom events. Uh, we're trying to create more consistency and a little sort of uh, fresher updated look overall, specifically to uh, speaker cards and session cards. You can see that facelift uh, here. New center pop-up, looks really nice. It's replaced the uh, slide out that had been around uh, almost since the beginning. So more visual updates will be coming throughout the year, uh, but we hope you, you find this uh, update fresh and, and relevant. Next up, recurring session events are incredibly popular and we're working hard to bring more and more tools uh, to you as an event host, um, specifically over these kind of events. This month, we have provided the option to customize which sessions in your recurring session event are visible um, on the event page and available for attendees to register. So more control, it's simple and it's visual and that's, uh, that's, always, that's always a good thing in the event world. Next up, we have expanded the post event survey question limit from 10 all the way to 100. This gives you plenty of flexibility to gather feedback from your event attendees. Keep in mind that we've uh, already released the ability to auto launch these uh, surveys in your attendees browsers when they when they leave or when your session ends. And hopefully these two features uh, give you plenty of opportunity to gather feedback from your attendees. And, and our hope is that helps you uh, connect with them in different ways and, and deliver more meaningful um, in engagement and, and content and events to that audience. So um, hopefully this is a good tool that draws you closer to your attendees. Next, our on-demand video section, big area of focus for us this year. We now have surfaced all session recordings into that tool for you to use in various uh, channels or promotions, however you wanna uh, distribute those recordings. Uh, sessions can have multiple recordings attached to them. Maybe you recorded a, a rehearsal the day before, or maybe during the session you started and stopped the recording for any sorts of reasons. Now, uh, we list all of those video files that are attached to a session, and Made those available for you to publish should be nice and simple for you small change in behavior for events with allow or block lists um, with an allow list or a block list attendees must provide authentication they must prove who they are before they access your event and we now give you control on whether or not to expose your event details to anyone who tries to access your event uh, here are the different ways. Here's one without any event details. This is perfect for uh, maybe you have a closed door or VIP event or something with some uh, super sensitive information and you don't want to expose any information about your event to anyone. Great. And then here's one where the masthead, title, time, et cetera, are all exposed for attendees. So that that's more helpful when you uh, want to assure people that they're in the right place and know what they are logging in for. Final update for this month, we have migrated Marketo and Pardot integrations over to our open API framework. This is uh, simple for us. It streamlines our ability to bring the most uh, recent and up-to-date uh, innovations on the API side to all of our integrations. So shouldn't be any change on your side. If you are running into any issues, work with your admin and just simply update that um, accessibility, update that access. 
Thank you for your attention. Wherever you're watching this, be sure to explore around for more Zoom Events content. There are past product releases videos. We're trying to bring all kinds of fresh content your way this year. We'll see you in March. Thank you for choosing Zoom Events. Thank you.